Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Warframe. In today's video, we're going to go over the entirety of Operation Scarlet Spear and everything you need to know, everything you need to do to be able to get all the rewards and what the rewards are and such. Apologies for this, the lateness of this video. I was working quite a lot the last week because coronavirus ended up making things... My work got busier, so I had to do a lot of stuff at work, but I've now done it understand it, know how to do everything, so if there's anyone like me who is somewhat delayed in getting onto it, I thought I'd do this guide anyway, just because why not. So first things first, the synopsis of this, the Sentient's primary invasion force is attacking Earth. Uh, we can't destroy their big ships that are coming in to attack us, so instead what we need to do is go to their smaller dropships and actually download and get some, some data from them that we can then upload onto the big ships which makes the big ships leave. So, the first things first, how to start this, you'll get an email from Little Duck and she'll tell you pretty much everything we about where you need to go. But there is a the Scarlet Spear Flotilla Relay, which is then now floating around Earth. So you can go there and you can talk to Little Duck and she'll give a brief description of what's going on. And the first thing you need to do to go is go to her buy. She has like a buy menu. You can go there and you need to get buy the Uplink Beacon for a thousand credits. I keep wanting to call it an Uplink Beacon, so if I say that during the video, forgive me. It's an op link beacon. It's an operation link beacon is what that stands for. But that's only a thousand credits, so it's like literally nothing to buy. And after that, you can choose either mission type you want to do. So there's two main modes of missions you can do in this. You can do the ground team, which is where you're downloading the kill codes. And as the ground team, you're playing a pseudo endless mission. It actually is capped at an upper end at uh, 17 Chondrixes, which are the little dropships. Um, they were having problems making it endless, apparently, so they've changed it so it now limits it at 17. But, as a ground team, you go in, and it's a very similar mission to, de uh, mobile defense. The difference being that it's slightly more interesting, because you actually go and you have to fight this Chondrix, which is like a little sentient dropship, or a little, it's quite big, quite a big sentient dropship. Um, it'll periodically, like, spit out smaller sentients, but you've got to damage that until it's nearly dead, and then use your uplink, and then your uplink becomes, like, a defense target that you have to protect. Um, you're also going to be being attacked by Grenier at this point, because Sargus Rock is attacking you because he thinks you're the reason all the sentients are here. Also, presumably, he wants to capture the sentients for himself, because they're probably quite useful to have that kind of technology. But, that's the ground mission. So you go there, you do this defense mission, and you just keep going with that, and you'll get rewards as you're going, and your score will increase as you're doing that. There is also space missions up in Empyrean, so... What this is, is uploading those kill codes to the bigger ships called Murexes. So, as a space team, you fly about and you have to board the Murex, which is the big, sort of, in-space ship, sentient ship. Um, and you have to defend your team's uplink beacons. There's a certain point in the ship, you go there, you put all your uplinks down. You then have to defend those uplinks while they upload codes to the, the Murex itself. It takes nine kill codes per Murex, and there's a maximum of five Murexes you can do before like, in one single mission that you can drive off. Um, level scaling goes up the longer you go in both of these missions, it's worth noting. Um, also, it's worth noting that I didn't say on the previous one, but every Chondrix you do on the ground mission will give you three kill codes. So, ground teams can do three Chondrixes for one Murex in the space team to get rid of. It's pretty much how it works. It's not particularly difficult. Honestly, you don't have to worry too much about adding up the numbers, uh, because for the vast majority of it, you're just do the mission that you're doing and you don't really worry about what anybody else is doing. But as for rewards, what you actually get from these missions, as you're doing either of them, you're going to get a score that's going to go up depending on how long you stay in the mission. Uh, and that score will translate one to one to something called Scarlet Credits on the completion of the mission. It's also worth noting that after a hundred Murexes have been chased off on any particular instance of the relay, then you will receive double the best score that you got on that relay um, worth of credits in an email. You'll get an email and you'll say, here, here's like a just a bonus of the Scarlet credits. Now, what you can actually spend these credits on, if you go to Little Duck, she has a variety of things for sale. There's two weapons, the Seti Lacera and the Basumu. Basumu? Basumu, I'm going to go with Basumu. There is a new stance former uh, for melee weapons. Essentially, it just you can do that and it allows any polarity in the stance slot quite nice. There is a new simula simulacrum you can get. It's a new look for the simulacrum. It's like an alternative, alternate simulacrum that you can do, which is quite nice. Uh, there's three different types of sigils you can get, which are, I mean, they're nice. 
There are some ship cosmetics that I'm pretty sure allow you to launch the Scarlet Mission, the Scarlet Spear missions from your ship rather than from the relay. I'm not sure if they actually have function, but I'm assuming they do, because I don't actually bought any of them and I googled it and I couldn't find the answer, so don't know. But there is one for the Earth and one for the space, so you can get them and put them onto your ships, they look quite cool. And I'm thinking they're probably also functional, you can probably just launch a mission from those conduits once they're in your ship, so you don't have to go down to the relay every time. Uh, there's also all of the common and uncommon arcanes, so the bronze and silver arcanes, all of them are up there so you can just buy them. Which is very, very nice, there's quite a lot of them that I haven't actually done, and depending on how much I want to farm, I may want to pick up a bunch of arcanes. But that's pretty much everything. It goes till the 21st of April on PC, so we have until then to farm up all the rewards that you want. But, that's all for now folks. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye guys.